three, two, one. And liftoff of the Falcon 9 and Dart on NASA's first planetary defense test to intentionally crash into an asteroid. Our Chris Christie is in Air 7, streaming the launch live as Air 7's HD camera captured it all. We are looking live at that Falcon 9 launching from Vandenberg Air Force Base right now with one million pounds of thrust launching that spacecraft into space. Our Eyewitness News camera is capturing the spectacular sight from Air 7 and also from a camera at Griffith Observatory and our Chris Christie calling it as an all happen. This looks like a successful Falcon 9 launch. It's arguably one of the most important experiments NASA has ever conducted, a test of a system aimed at saving the Earth from a catastrophic asteroid strike. It's called DART. After tonight's launch, DART is on its way to a rendezvous with an asteroid. This is how Hollywood envisions the end of the world, a giant asteroid striking the Earth, a so-called extinction-level event. Tonight, a real-life test of a spacecraft that could literally save the planet. Three, two, one. And liftoff. Codenamed DART, short for Double Asteroid Redirection Test. You may have seen the launch from Vandenberg Space Force Base in Southern California. It's heading for a collision with the smaller of two asteroids seven million miles from Earth. Unlike the manned spacecraft armed with nuclear bombs in the movie Deep Impact, DART is about the size of a vending machine. The whole idea here is, is not to break the thing or destroy it, but just to nudge it a little bit. And there might be a variety of ways you can do it, and hitting it a little bit is one way to do that. The target, an asteroid the size of a soccer stadium. The DART will be traveling at 15,000 miles an hour when it hits. If it knocks the asteroid even slightly off its path, NASA will gather value valuable information. How much does it take to bump a rock out of the way given its, its size and, and speed? And prevent an extinction level event like the one that killed the dinosaurs. Good luck to us all. Lucky for us all, this is only a test. And it'll be a long time until we know the results of that test. If everything goes as planned, the collision with the asteroid called Dimorphos will happen in September of next year. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.